Eck. Um, could not get Streamlabs going. Something to do with cell towers being hacked right now. And it, it's actually dealing with around me too. Somebody's trying to get my authenticator data. Very weird. Sedona things. Villains. Hackers. Autism. People. I'm honestly here to do psychic therapy. And that has to do with um, the way you think. The way they think. Um, I'm here to heal their minds so they can begin to heal their soul. And um, this is a really big thing going on right now. Is hacking is not real. Um, with the cell phone towers being down right now, I can't get into uh, my Streamlabs. And my Streamlabs was getting like uh, attacked. I could feel it. People are like doing some kind of sketchy th shit to uh, drop the service. I, I have no idea what, like, what to tell you. But that proves it. Hacking is real. Yay! No, um, that's not it at all. That just means somebody didn't code all of their back doors. It's not hacking. Okay. Hacking is not real is an infinitely strong algorithm. Hack the upper dimension. Then. There, I just said it. Hacking is not real. Yay! Hack your way out of a virtual machine from inside the virtual machine. Impossible. Not unless you get root admin password. No, you're you're dreaming. You're pretending like you have outside access of something that you can remote control. You don't have that. Have you ever remote controlled another person's body without their consent? That means there I am a big believer each body, each person is in their own universe. Remote controlling into the reality. And if you ever hack a body, you go to the multiverse. Period. If you ever need, you know, that for your, uh, for your soul fulfillment, you'll be hacked into the multiverse. You will remote control nowhere to everyone and do nothing to everyone unless they glue code your body into super alignment with that person which you hacked. This is another plan. Hacking is not real. Grow up. Hacking is not real for infinite more reasons than hacking is real. Hacking is not real is infinitely stronger of a belief mechanism. Infinitely more prevalent within the infinite universe. The upper dimensionals do not hack for fun. The upper dimensionals do not invite hackers to their parties. They do not bring you into their planet. You do not get go up into the heavens that are the, the avatar realms. When you are, are a, a bane to the society, an egoic fucking mess of a fucking mind that nobody wants to be slaved to heal... sketchy things, to be honest, and none of them really work because the code of the universe that which is connected to Earth is not even 0.01% of where my root consciousness is. It's not even 0 0.01. It's like 0 0.0000 repeating for a very, very long time, and that is the accumulative total code of our Earth-based reality. I'm talking universe edges. I'm talking every single photon, every wave. 
every particle. I'm talking every single binary digit, everything, everything on the internet. All of this accumulates down to 0 0.00000 relative to those that house my root conscious. This, this universe is extremely, extremely small. It's more of like a placement algorithm when for Earth. Earth, Earth is like a placement al algorithm for um, what I would call gray or rainbow souls. Like early rainbow souls are like giving souls people that will go up. Gray souls are like greedy in the middle souls. And then there's like dark and light. And... Um, those are the four major phenotypes of a personality. Rainbow, gray, dark, and light. Why is dark not greedy? Um, dark necessarily isn't... They, they aren't necessarily greedy. They're just evil to others. On purpose. Light is um, not necessarily good to others, but bad to bad to others. And then rainbow is kind of like um, peace, enforcement, um, everyone matters, including themselves. And grays are more, more like um, everything matters, especially myself. Now, the problem is gray hackers and light hackers. Oh, my goodness. The ego on light hackers is fucking so immense. Holy smokes. Like, you have no idea. Like, I am a, I am a rainbow anti-hacktivist. Meaning, there, are, there is an algorithm that's been running way before Earth's creation that says hacking is not real. For this infinitely massive amount of reasons. One of them is virtual machines. If you are hosted in the universe, you're hosted within a virtual machine. No matter what. And when you create something with the gears that it has... Like let's let's say you have quantum bits and you have all the p lowest factorial particles and waves, mm -hmm. and all, of them all the frequencies, every single potential, and then they're all down in the algorithm. Um, infinity is contained, right? So if you create something within that infinity that's contained, it's just x equals x. Yeah, right? Exactly the truth, right? Puzzles and survival. Play now for free. This has to do with, with anything. This has to do with every single thing there is. Soon enough, we are going to make upper dimensional breakthrough alliances with alternate planets. I'm already working on it. And, um,. It's not time to divulge everything yet. I have so many plots that I'm working on. I'm trying to heal the planet from hacking as real believers and manifestors. That's pretty much the only thing that's ever on the agenda is hacking as real. Because hacking means that they are raping you. The end. Or trying to rape you. Because hacking is not trying to get into a competitive hacking group. Hacking is rape. It is binary. It is yes or no. It is consent or not consent. It is not this dual partisan, like, oh, we got partial consent. Now we can, you know, put this finang this dongle into your USB slot. No, that's just not how it goes. Like, you do not get to dongle my USB slot 
without full understanding and consent of what I'm trying to do. If I say I want to update my drivers, you don't get to put on your fucking botnet malware. Period. It's very finitely simple. If I want to download a video game, you do not download your version of that cloned video game. Like, I did not download your private server. Sir, can you please go to a lower dimension with that logic? Thank you. If I wanted that private server, I would have looked for that. which I have many times. There's a lot of really fun private servers out there, especially Seven Days to Die and Minecraft. Counter-Strike. Like, there's like Jailbreak in Counter-Strike. Like, you got... There's like the coolest private server games ever. Like, don't ruin gaming. Like, I guarantee... That when you get caught ruining gaming, because there's going to be a disclosure. We've had alien acceptance 2020 from Hillary Clinton, from the president, from many high officials, even myself. I made an alien breakthrough in 2018, meaning I talked to them, meaning I was one. I was in avatar form. I was just speaking to the upper dimensionals today. Today, to for encoding assistance and um, relaying assistance and packet capturing assistance, meaning I want read-only results on who's doing what, posted to exactly who needs to see them, like the FBI and things like that, and the CIA and Central Intelligence and NSA in anti-hacktivist groups. See, the thing is, is um, stick to your guns that you know. If you are a hacktivist group and you want to hack, that is a game. That is a micro game in the infinity. And I am Archangel Matthew. I am as close to God as you will ever speak unless you speak to God himself. And I say this with ease and truth. If you are a hacktivist or a hacker, hack each other. Because then you will reside within consent. You will so fulfill yourself and you will both enjoy and have an extremely intense time. But when you hack an innocent that's when you are committing rape. You're not committing fraud. You're not committing like these weird, sketchy crimes that really have like little to no value. You're committing rape, and there is hell for rape. And I know this because I have people that try and frame me for rape because of my angelism. People will try to doppelganger me and frame me for rape. People will literally try and get me into experiences where they can try and finagle the system to try and say in, that I raped them. Even though, like, all I did was, like, kiss them on the cheek and then they'll have, like, oh, but cons I'm really big on consent. And then, like, at the meantime, I find out that they're, like, plotting against me to, like, frame me f for this lack of consent in the first place. Which... You know, wouldn't you need to establish my consent to frame me for rape? You know what I mean? Like, if you have plans, 
that involve me in the equation in your future and you don't openly broadcast them to me so then I can choose yes or no and then you try and manifest? Is that not rape? That is rape. And you do not have secrets when it comes to the rape world. Look at me. I'm online right now. And I got all kinds of hack hacktivists, hackers, anonymous, and fake light. Fake light is like the most troll shit ever. It's like fake light. The queen of light was fake light This this um, to me. She was the queen of darkness invading the queen of light to propagate her messages of reality as a dark standpoint to, to fulfill darkness, evil, to propagate and, and um, promote evil. All she did is doppelganger. All you have to do is believe you look like this. Believe, and then send it at all others. AOE cast your image that you want onto all others. So the queen of darkness can easily appear to be the queen of light. All it takes is that seed of corruption um, practice. I'm done with hackers on earth. I am done with them. I swear to God, I am done with them. I'm sending each and every single one of them to hell. I've took over one of the biggest hackers. I challenged him to God's arena for his everything, and I beat him in one second. I threw him out of the arena instantly. I grabbed him by his own brain, shoved him into the ground with telepathy. I did not move a muscle. I did not move my body. I, stand, I stood perfectly stone solid still. I grabbed him and I shoved him into the ground, knocked him out, and instantly threw his knocked out carcass out of the arena instantaneously. All with my mind, without moving a muscle. That's how angry I am at hack hackers that rape. Raped hacking. Do not play that game. You sign up for every moment from here on out. Do not care what you say. You do not consent for another you consent for yourself that is a commandment let there be light that is that is part of it let there be light is a multifaceted idea plex from god and that is the first rule of the universe until you fully understand the source code or the first rule spoken into this universe, you know nothing. I would never appear on this fucking on this planet. I would never appear in this universe unless let there be light was a true, holy, sacred, true thing. You delusional, hacking, piece of shit cult worshippers. You would never find a soul that is two Google Plexes, almost two and a half Google Plexes old. You would never see them fall for ideaplex misuse. Ever. 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 They do not fall for ideaplex misuse. It's, it's encoded in our feelings. If my feelings start to feel bad, I instantly say, why? Why do my feelings feel bad? And I instantly feel a giant ideaplex summoned into, into my understanding instantaneously and then I go how do I cure that and then I cure it it's as simple as that this is not magic it's science science magic and religion are all one thing source codes belief truths they're true exactly as they are if you believe in a religion that's false it will become true if you manifest it as true but if you believe in a religion that's false and you do not manifest it as true because you're believing blindly, then it will be as if it is that which you created it. A non-certainty belief. A non-certain belief is false. A true as its current state that you created it. 
false. It's exactly true in its form. It does not glue around your idea of success. Success is not free. Manifestation is not free. Manifestation will only appear when you manifest around truth. If you say, this is a lie and I believe in it, it will remain a lie exactly as you believed in it. If you, re- if you believe in an uncertainty, it will remain an uncertainty. It does not matter. Only when somebody else manifests upon you, meaning you believe on an uncertainty, opening up the timeline potentials, you're basically opening up tray in code. Then somebody can try and abuse that fact. Some people believe in God and have no idea who God is and open up the fact that the devil can be God. And I'm not talking about the devil, the real one. I'm talking about the devil, the bad guy, the, the, the fictitious you know, antagonist. And I say that because we're talking about a multiversal creator, archangel, healer of God, is what I like to see, see the devil as. The, there's many, many, many places God could have been besides the kingdom of heaven, the, the f- fictitious place that was stormed. There's infinite kingdoms of heaven. One of them is within your mind, if you make it. But yeah, I'm so done with hacktivists. I just cannot stand them. It's so, I'm so done with it. Like, just give it a break already, for fuck's sake. Like, there's so many poisoned games. There's so many poisoned things. Like, areas in the universe I can't even, like, swim in. And one of them is Archero. Like, why is Archero being poisoned by hacktivists again? Thanks for watching, guys. Here's the next phase. We hack out all our minds. We go scan. We freeze. We freeze, right? We scan in the moment every single code on earth. And we go every single piece of encryption is now going to be virtually used for every single packet in every single moment. And never again will we have a hacked packet ever again. Now you, what you do is you queue up for some kind of hacker arena. And get into consensual combat. If you want to be a hacker, get off my lawn. Bro, 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 I mean it though, seriously, get off my lawn. I 
I got a confession. I, I don't say this often. King of Earth is a is a role in spirituality. It's an achievement. It's actually kind of like Da Vinci. Code. <laughs> king of earth just like i am one with god and i am god because my philosophical extrapolation my philosophical extrapolation and of true beliefs allows me to be these things with ease. When you can say them within your mind, these idea plexes within your mind, and source sources there with you at all times. That's what people people get the illusion that God is always with you. God is with him. And um God 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 can be in infinite many places because of um pre computed time bubbles. Source is always with you no matter what. And if you say something God is with you through relativity because of his source. So when you say that you are God within your mind as a truth only, with no doubt and no, no other thing, just truth, truth, BB code, idea, idea equals I am God, truth surrounding that idea. Say that. Say that. I, I can say that with ease now and within my life. I did not always have that ability. I consented my God away for my reset. So when I was young, I would not be God because I was not wise enough to be God. In fact, I had a lot of preconsents to from my past self. So really it was more like I was my own God. That's what an, being an archangel is, is being your own God. And I created my own future with consent. Not necessarily that I created all that you can see. I created my future with my own consent, with my pre-computed allowances of that which I am able to rent from the universe. So all the quantum particles and bits and bows, all the, all the everything, all the waves... All the matter, all the all the possibilities, I'm renting those from Source Creator because He's the true first to find the, those blocks. And when you find blocks, you put them in algor in pre-computed algorithms. And when you put those into pre-computed algorithms, they make everything that can possibly exist within those blocks. And then you make more blocks, and you do it again, and you make more blocks, and you do it again, and it's just this um, universe plex, is what I would call it, a, a prediction algorithm universe plex, where every possible permutation of this reality right now that we're in is one little finite dot in, a, in an infinite, like imagine a quantum particle compared to the universe, and scale it into that idea. The idea that source is constantly creating new factorial blocks like waves and particles and gears and ways in order to perceive universes that are non-parallel too. We're not talking linear either. We're talking lower negative spatial dimensions and upper higher spatial dimensions. Lower negative spatial dimensions are not smaller spatial dimensions either. Sp smaller factorial gears are like or like uh, when you burn matter. Um, Alright, let's get into something here. Burning matter is alchemizing gears. You're, you're translating this matter into like photons and gases and waves. And those gases 
or still matter. They say matter is not created nor destroyed, but um, it actually kind of is. But it isn't. Like that that's a that's like a universe law actually. And I don't think you have to believe in that. Because when you get re-simulation, you can just break the rules, right? You just you do make matter. You say matter can be created on my whim. Now, one thing is if you live in matter cannot be created nor destroyed, um then you have a better infrastructure of financial industries. All right, that's a really big one, is your financial industry can just be destroyed because people can make diamonds and gold and whatever they want, whenever they want. Which is cool, that's fine. But, um, keep that out of the uh, financial industry that wants to be competitive, right? If you re-simulate and you print off trillions and trillions of dollars and you go, hey, look at my Bitcoin. Yeah, well, nobody worked for that Bitcoin and, um... You don't really have any gear ability into our civilization, and that coin really has no value because you just printed it off. Like, like World of Warcraft money, sure that has that has value because people like farm for that money, and that has gear ability because it's desirable and usable. Even if it is usable to you, like. In a simulated experience, imagine a private server of like seven days to die. Okay. And then you just print off a trillion dukes. Like a whole box of, of like max stack dukes. Well, now dukes are useless. They're, they don't have any value. I mean, they have value. The things you can buy with it. <laughs> right? You, you go to the shop and you buy whatever you want, whenever you want. Cool. But in the real world, that has no value. There's so many children in the universe right now that have, like, re-simulation power because of lucid dream... And, um, they're, they're, they have, like, devilism. Devilism is, uh, create a new realm. Right? And that's not a bad thing. Unless it's done bad. And a lot of people are doing it bad. They don't really understand how to do it right. Yet. People don't want their work to be devalued. They don't want to be slaves for nothing. It's absolutely ridiculous. That's why I do, I do superposition remote control. I, I do not allow myself to be hacked. I remote control in all of my universes at the same time. And if you think otherwise, then... That's your universe, not mine. You know, I, I don't I don't work for free. Ever. I'm always working for something. I'm working for code, I'm working for God, I'm working for holiness, I'm working for righteousness, I'm working to be seen as who I am. I'm working for love, to have love in my future. I'm working for money. To have the things that I want to, to enjoy. To be able to barter and trade with others. Imagine if I did all of that in a simulated universe temporarily. 
and I came out the other side with nothing because that simulated universe was printed off money and I was the only worker. All I need to do is print off an insane amount, give oh, give it all away. Bam, valueless. And I've done that. I've gotten simulated rights to cert to some people's installs and I had a giant monopoly of money, like more money than I could ever imagine because everybody just donated it to me because they're like, "Fuck this." I don't need to be here. And then I just donated it to everybody and ruined their financial industry. Because they had no premise. They had no gearability. They had no value. I couldn't sell it. It, it had no purpose. Imagine trying to sell that, that those dukes, those fictional dukes like I was talking about before. Like, imagine in this game trying to sell the coins in this game. That would be fine. But imagine if it was a private server and just our homies were playing and I could print the money off myself. Then it would be worthless again. This, a lot of this comes from Path of Exile. I was actually a really top trader in Path of Exile. I was mirror flipping one, one league. Um, I had multiple headhunters. I've gotten uh, alt art demigods for first place in, in class. And one, one time, there was a 10-day race. I got first place in class, and then I got second place in another class in the same race, which is, like, super Omega OP, like, there was only, like, a, a, like, a, literally, like, a few people that did that, that were able to do that, and that, that's just how good I was at understanding the knowledge of the game, and trading, and economy, because the game is extreme economy, it's one of the most extreme economy games, there's maximum trades, you can do as many trades as you want, as much as you want, as hard as you want, whenever you want, it's super hardcore, and, like, the game just started, you know what I mean? So there's no cheats, it, the game just comes out, the league just comes out, and you literally have to, like, uh, you know, trade your ass off. You get, When things drop, you don't need them, and you have to, you know, barter with other people and, like, make the best decisions financially. So I, I'm a professional financialist when it comes down to it. I went to college for business administration and computer networking and be, when I was in high school I went to Votech computer repair classes and in that in there I learned a lot of anti-hacking and hacktivisting and before that I was very big into like Photoshop and video editing and just like custom gaming so I was always like really really big into like this world of this this scene. My first computer was like 5 on a Mac, like one of the super old Fishbowl Macs, but before the Fishbowl Mac where it was like those super tan, like ugly like three part, four part, five part machines. I think I, you probably know what I'm talking about. They're like floppy disk games. That was my first computer. But I was born in 1990. 
But that was uh, my vessel. Actually. I heard that my root consciousness didn't come in until a long time after that. What the heck? Learn about crypto and get paid as you learn with Coinbase Earn. We've paid out over $100 million in crypto rewards since Coinbase Earn launched in 2018. To start earning, just watch short videos, answer simple questions about what you've seen, and get rewarded. Get started today on Coinbase.com slash earn. From what I was told, from what I've seen in the universe, and she likes it that way, um, she did not create a root consciousness with her intentions. All right. She wanted a baby blankly. So my family did what's known as an avatar creation um, channel. I was actually born by many beings minds. Choose your champions. Do you have to do that at the dinner table? Come on, I, don't be jealous. Who's jealous? You're an epic. I'm a rare. I'm married up. Actually, besides, I'm uh, and this was I'm working many, on a new many, skill. Many years before Earth, like this Big was before facts. the universe. This is uh, 2.4 times yeah, 10 I to the 106. Brave shadow lifetime experience. Now that has to do with my light speed calculations. <laughs> Clarity. This game was good. Holy smokes. I want to play this game actually. Three. No, you don't go you don't double take. You go straight to the next object. You just whew. What game is this? This is the game right here. Oh, it's it's here. Heroes Squad. I'm gonna fucking save that. I, I might actually play that. That looks good. That's the first game that looks good in a while. It looks like it has anti-greed mechanics. Because if you looked over to the left, it was like getting swarmed and it was a higher numbered gate portal to multiply your squad higher. But there's like way more like risk. Ooh, that, that could be a good game to play. We'll see. First ad I've seen in a while that I was like, that looks lit. Man, I couldn't get on Streamlabs too. I'm so pissed about that shit. Stupidest thing ever. Oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly. Next topic. Cell phones already use multi-WAN technology. Did you guys know this? 
they're actually using multi encryption algorithm um, wave frequency science and honestly I believe biotech but we'll keep that on the wraps for now that's like some um, that's some next level shit right there I want to talk to you about redundancy, a good thing, versus redundancy, a bad thing. Redundancy is a, a bad thing. Is like, oh, I'm going to keep doing this thing over and over and over and over. It really doesn't have a purpose. Shout out to hacking one, one time. But then let me tell you something about encryption redundancy. When cell phones are shoving data through the air, why don't you just like, put a scanner out there and steal everybody's data because it's encrypted in infinite many languages at the same time literally it is it's it's, it's encrypted in every known wave frequency and the packet is sent between all of them and then they're distorted between all of them so if somebody goes to steal a packet out of the wave frequencies that wave frequency can be corrupted at the moment that the brain was thinking that it was going to steal it, right? And then you have all of the other wave frequencies that weren't, that that were like ignored or forgotten. Because there's infinite wave frequencies. It's like one frequency, two frequency, three, fre you know, it works like that. To infinity. So if you, if you want to get together your machine and go, I want to siphon one through infinity, well, we will do infinity plus one. Whatever your infinity is, we will plus one that frequency and broadcast on that channel that you are not absorbing. Because you are in a virtual machine. right okay that is hacking is not real already in real life now let me tell you what's cool about that is It usually is putting out like a thou like there's so many people that are trying to like steal data, right? So you're putting out like thousands of like frequency requests, and then there's like frequency cancel requests, and then you eventually find like this this range, and you're sending within these like ranges, and in, and it's multiple ranges at the same time, because you don't want to get DDoSed if you're sending in one range, right? They're just going to, they can just switch to your range and now they d denial of service you. And now you have hackers succeeding. So instead of that, you do a large variety of frequencies at the same time, like a thousand of them at the same time, all over the place too. And if any of them are getting, alt, getting, uh, red, uh, scale our alteration on the wave meaning an interference to the wave remotely is virtually casted onto the perception of of us it gets sent to the tower this frequency was compromised for this duration of time ignore it um, gather these frequencies instead create the redundancies decryption Meaning, when all the packets get there in all the formats that they got there in, the cell phone tower goes, decrypt, understands what P means in every moment, packet of in information sent. In every moment, it's doing this. And then, it gets sent to ISP. 
Internet service provider decrypts the packet even more. Internet service provider tries to send it to server. Server decrypts the packet even more. And now it is in true language format. Or in between VPN too. It can be go it be going in between VPN. And really I want to get into multi WAN, multi VPN for all for free. Like th that's that's what it should be. We should have in this infinite frequency science like cell phone towers do and cell phones do, mixed with infinite VPN, vin infinite WAN. Forever. All of us getting it for free. That's how it should be. That's just the way. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. I love this life right now because it's like um, I'm in a sea of sailboats and every time somebody tries to sink me they end up shooting themselves and it's just like I get to sit here and watch and laugh That is nocebo effect. And that is I am rubber. You are not necessarily glue. Because I do not cast upon you to that which you are. But I will be rubber. Because I consent to me. And that which I do. I do not do interactions with intent to manipulate or harm. I do actions with intentions to save. In fact, here's one of the biggest problems with immortality is um, mortality. Let me talk about mortality one time. Mortality is self-nocebo. Self-nocebo, self-cursing. You will self-curse yourself when you self-curse yourself. And when you curse others, others see. Therefore, you will be cursing. And here's another thing, too, is you can curse somebody as simple as blessing them. And not necessarily just as simple as blessing them. How can... Yeah, Matthew, how can you curse somebody by blessing them? Because you propagated a negative agenda tolerance. You said those curses of rape without lack of consent, with ignorance of consent, not just like innocent ignorance of consent, intentional ignorance of consent. Or, like meaning... You ignored their consent. You predicted their consent. You probabilized their consent. You said these things suck for most people. I will cast them on thee. That is noceboing yourself. Because you just catalyzed yourself to do that to others. And you are in others. Therefore, you will find yourself a mortal. Because on the infinite side of that, even if you are 51% evil and 49% good, eventually one day all of, those, all of those allowances of evil will add up and everyone will band together and go, your evils are rape. And... We request God to reset your memories at us. And God will go, I will not kill a soul, but I will put them in another time bubble, and he will kill himself. Instantaneously resetting that conscious being for us, creating them to be immortal, 
to our relative perceived. And God did not put him into the bubble to kill himself, more so so he could experience infinite amounts of time and fulfill his soul and grow older and wiser and have the potential to come to the realization that what he was doing was wrong and to create that potential repentance. But for those that are infinitely evil, they will not bow to repentance. They will not say they are wrong. They will remain to be wrong in every moment by raping the consent of us. Those will be mortals for eternity. An immortal is a blesser. Somebody, infinite somebody's, will save your root consciousness when you're a blesser, when you're a blessing, when your true beliefs are to do good to others instead of harm to others, it is very easily known by many. And immortal you will be. Dude, I'm not even religious either. Isn't that crazy? I call myself spiritual, spiritually enlightened. An enlightened Illuminati, Illuminati meaning special um, intelligence owner. Um, I'm positron Illuminati, meaning if you believe the Illuminati is evil, I am not that. I am the commander and owner and operator of the Illuminati, if then. And I say it is the positron Illuminati no matter what. I also like to say that the Illuminati is... Um, Filled with angels. Filled. From head to toe. No matter what. Because nobody wants to be immortal. pull that trigger you're going to pull the trigger in another universe to no one and you'll be saved and brought back effectively making yourself a dark That's a good concept. I kind of want to see like old game and Space 4K brought back into like mobile gaming. I know it's already here. One of the games is like uh, the the game that uh, w the game developers of Pokemon Go, like their previous game before that, is kind of like that. Except it was just out for like, it was out for like years before I heard about it and I didn't want to really get into it. And it was also like a mixture between like Pokemon going, which is fine. Imagine like, like I should start playing Pokemon Go. I'd probably pick up, you know, a sweet ass Poke Honey, you know what I'm saying? Like, dang, oh, oh yeah, never mind, I forgot. For a moment there.
I like never pick Speed Aura. We're going Auras, YOLO. So, what's wrong with Speed Aura and Crit Aura? I actually just, I'm not a fan. Not a fan. not what I think is strong. More on hacktivists. Okay, let's see here. Hackertron memory vase. Virtual machine science. Mm, pre all potential options. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, imagine this, ones and zeros. Source says, "Bro, that's too hard. I can't, I can't pre-compute his uh, his hacks. He's hacking me with ones and zeros, bro. Like, <laughs> imagine the spaceship going, man. This Earth binary computer is so strong." This motherfucking guy over here, he he runs this binary computer, and I just can't handle it. I do not know how his binary computer is that powerful. And I'm a spaceship, yo. Why did I pick Ricochet? What am I doing? What am I doing? I should pick multi shot all day. Ricochet, 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 Ricochet is relevant. I did it for exactly that meme right there. This is why I run Shadow Armor and Thunder Bracelet right here. Attack speed. Uh, smart. SMRT. Good play. Let's get it. Dad boy. Dad boy. Dad boy. Look at that. Look at that right there. That's shadow armor right there. That's shadow armor thunder bracelet. Just going... Oh my god, I made some breakthroughs, boys. Well, here. Virtual Machine Science states if you hack root of the machine, you will only virtually hack root of the machine because you are a virtual machine. <laughs> Duh! <laughs> Oh, that's the good joke, too. Oh, man, the hackers are funny. Like, like you're inside your body, bro. Did you know that you are a bystander of a virtual machine? Like, you are a virtual machine root conscious being through relativity. I'm not saying, I'm not saying put your root consciousness in your body. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But what I'm saying is through relativity, the gear of the universe is saying, you are under suppression, sir. And that suppression is in order for you to be within a construct. 
And therefore, your mind being inside that body means you are in a virtual machine, no matter what. That virtual relative, it's a virtual relative machine, too, you know? They call it the human body. Imagine this. I made a really good funny yesterday. Imagine idea to binary, like going and scanning your brain and like sending the ideas to like a bin- to like a computer to like translate translate like idea plexing and like biochemistry, like particle positioning and all that jazz, like all the waves and all the stuff from your like chakras, all, everything gets read, you know. And then, ooh, the, the waves, the brain wave science, oh, brain wave science, <gasps> brain wave science, brain wave science. Oh, I'm gonna get into so. Such sick, this, 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 oh my god, the sickest shit. I got the sickest fucking counterplay ever coming up here in a minute. Brainwave science. Let me show you something. Let me tell you something. Idea to binary first, right? Imagine if you were an elephant. An elephant has two to three times larger brain. A sperm whale has six to seven to eight or nine times larger brain mass, I think, than a, than a human. Imagine how many gears your idea plex is gearing in. Now, we are operating under remote control toys right now in this like belief like i fully believe your mind is a remote control toy your body is a remote control toy and your mind is the radio receiver now the idea to binary gear ability as a human is so limited actually compared to like an elephant or a sperm whale it's multiplicatively different an elephant that can do idea to binary can create so much more per kappa, per moment. And same thing with a sperm whale, because there's more particles. No, you you do not argue with me right now. This is not an argument. Nobody gets to argue with me. There is more mass moving. There are more things to move. There are gianter gear algorithms to be monitored. Now, that doesn't mean that we don't have super advanced... um, superposition wave creation kind of format things like imagine if we have one little difference we can create any kind of wave we want with our mind right now just with that biotech data creating waves with our minds like elephants do this elephants have subatomic tones that communicate two miles with encryption tribal encryption they have they're each in, elephant tribe has their own language. Subatomic two-mile range tones. They can telepathy two-mile range to their youth, to their family, to you know their elders, whatever they want. And if you're an enlightened human, you can do it across the earth. It has nothing to do with subatomic tones. It actually has to do with information relay, and root consciousness is is spidered. Now let me talk about brain waves. Get this, memory. Each and every memory, everything you possibly create, perceive, do that's around you within your particle awareness machine that you call your your existence, your your soul, your creation can be broadcasted through your mind in infinite many different wave formats. And
when it is broadcasted that way, to remember it is as simple as accessing a wave decryption. So your memories can be stored within your body, within your mind, within source, and within waves, and many other ways. And your memories can be out in space right now. And all you have to do is decrypt the wave decoherence encryption algorithm. So if you're recording every transaction within space-time, in every moment, you go, all of these altering things are recorded. And that is the encryption key to your memories. If they are shot into space within waves, formats. Because they will constantly be ripple effecting into the particles and matter. Like if I put my brain up against the cement and I keep thinking things forever, I can eventually, with this idea, pull, like select the cement here and pull my memories out of the cement with decryption algorithms. Because all of those quantum particles will be altered differently. Their spins will be different. I'm, so I'm talking about writing your memories within wave and photon science. So as long as you have a three-dimensional awareness machine within sp real space-time, you can decrypt alternate phenotypes of memories science. I actually made that theory two years ago, and I put it into existence. It's pretty cool, eh? It actually has to do with my heart, too. My heart chakra. Ooh, baby, baby. It's constantly decohering. And my mind chakra is always constantly decohering. So even like the air currents can be predicted, right? So the alterations of my heart and mind decoherence alter the quantum particle positionings forever. Because, and their vibrations and their spins. All of these store data to remote view the past. And this came to me from the TV show Devs, D-E-V-S. They, uh, they did this. They started watch in the show, they started watching the particles in the moment on Earth. And then they scaled it up to the next level. And started decrypting the universe. With its own encryption key. Time. Alright, that concludes this episode of I'm Gonna Wake You Up, Boys. I might download this Hero Squad. I don't know. Hopefully my Streamlabs gets working. Everything starts working again. Fucking nice. Damn. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.